Hey everybody, this is just a real brief video here. Another video from my favorite privately owned automotive salvage yard. So I'm down here right now, it's so oh, 10 minutes until 4 on a Friday. And the reason why I'm here is, well, I need a window glass. Yeah, my mom in her 2000 Chevy Malibu, her second 2000 Chevy Malibu, had a run-in with a railroad crossing guard thing. And the railroad crossing won. Yep, cost her a passenger rear window. And the funny thing about it is, is, and I don't know if you can see it, but to the left of the old gray Ford and behind this old pickup truck here is her original 2000 Chevy Malibu and that one is here because she overheated it and one of her friends at her church told her just pour this cold water in the engine this was winter time mind you steaming hot engine ice cold water didn't end well and I wasn't gonna put any more money into it so my mom is driving my 2000 Chevy Malibu now which, if you've watched my videos in the past, you'll probably recognize that car as Project Silver Bullet. Kind of stalled on on that when I started losing jobs and money. And uh, in any case, she's driving it now. And she's also tearing it up. There's a new pa passenger rear window pane. And there's also a uh, driver's side rearview mirror. Which was a whole different story. But anyway, I just got done pulling this and decided, well, I might as well um, shoot a few minutes of video footage since I'm here anyway. Why not? Yeah, all right, let's get this truck started here. Nope. No, this is not my truck. This is my friend's diesel F250. That I'm borrowing because I don't currently have a truck that's running it on the road. Not yet, anyway. Oh. I'll just turn around here and then back up some. Don't want to go running into any nastiness. Wouldn't be good. would not be good at all. There we go. My friend that owns this salvage yard has been parting out a lot of the newer stuff He's winding down in his older age and with some health problems, he's not really buying a lot of stuff anymore. He's more selling off the newer stuff to uh, U Pullet in Rogers, Arkansas, and kind of hanging on to what he still has. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I know a lot of people have commented in the past. Well, he doesn't want to sell anything. He doesn't want to sell what they want. Well, unfortunately, the problem with his salvage is he knows what he has, and he likes a lot of the really old stuff. He's apart with some of the real old, hard-to-find stuff. But he's more than willing to part with the new crap. That Malibu back there that I just pulled this window pane off of, he's more than willing to get rid of that stuff. He don't like any of that computer-controlled nonsense fuel injected and carbureted and all that, but I haven't really managed to sell much online because it's just so damn difficult to determine what he'll sell and what he won't, but he's got some really cool stuff out here. Back before I started to develop really bad knee problems, I used to love just to come out here and meander around. Look at 
deal stuff. Bronco, Apple II, I think. Oh, I just caught my shoulder. Let me know. Just call me while I'm trying to film. So that'll probably end up wearing speakers. Oh, no, but I don't know very much about film videos on a sale phone. His father has passed away, and so now he's got a lot more time to spend on the uh, south. So I'm fixing to eat the south.